This snippet is an introduction to Super Preview. My name is Jeremy Osborne, presenting from AGI Training for Microsoft. In this snippet, you'll learn some of the basic features in Super Preview, including navigating the workspace, defining a baseline browser, and integration with Expression Web 3. The first thing to cover is exactly what Super Preview is. Super Preview is a tool that allows you to accurately debug websites using multiple browsers on the same system. In order to understand why this is important, we can think of the traditional workflow for testing a website in different browsers. These days we have multiple browsers such as IE8, 7, and 6, as well as browsers such as Firefox and Safari. Oftentimes, web designers or developers will have separate machines to do their browser testing. So for example, IE6 cannot be installed with IE7 and 8 on the same machine. So oftentimes, a designer or developer will put a site up online and then move to another machine in order to test it. Super Preview is designed to do away with all that because it's an all-in-one tool. It has a built-in rendering engine for IE6 as well as other browsers. Now in this particular case we're working with the Super Preview standalone application. Later on we'll look at how Super Preview integrates with Expression Web 3. So to get oriented here we have two screens because I'm in my split layout view. We'll look at some other layout views in a moment. However, the first thing we need to do is define a baseline browser. So this is the browser that we'll be using to compare a page against other browsers. In order to do that, I'll go down to my baseline box here, and my baseline browser will be Internet Explorer 8. Now we see here on the right-hand side of the screen, we have a number of other browsers, including Firefox, Internet Explorer 6, and Internet Explorer 8 in 7 compatibility mode. Just a note about this one, we're actually looking at the site as if it was in 7. However, we do not have 7 on this machine. So I'll go ahead and click this to add it. And then, in order to add the other browsers, I'm going to go down below and click Add. I'll go ahead and add Internet Explorer 6. Click Add, and now I'll add Firefox. Next, we need to preview our page. So again, I'll start with my baseline. And then above, I'll go to my Location field and browse for a file. I'll go to my Desktop, go to the Super Preview Intro folder, and locate the default.html page. At this point, Super Preview takes a few moments to render this page in two different browsers. On the left, my baseline, and on the right, my comparison. In this case, the comparison is Firefox 3.5. So a few things I'll show you here. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out so I can see the entire page. You'll notice that both pages zoom at the same time. Now at first glance, I can look at the comparison between Internet Explorer 8 and Firefox 3.5, and I can see that there's very little difference here. Let's go ahead and click on Internet Explorer 7 by clicking on this icon. So now I'm looking at Internet Explorer 7 on the right-hand side of the screen. It looks like the text here of my website is actually slightly different. Now if I click on that text, Lucerne Publishing, I can see on the left-hand side of the screen a blue highlight around that text, and then on the right-hand side of the screen I see a green highlight. Now by comparing the two, I can see that the difference here is minimal, but still noticeable. But let's go ahead and now click on Internet Explorer 6 to compare. With that element still selected, I can see that it has the same issues with the text, but now I have a more substantial problem. In my original browser, I can see this section here, Case Studies, has completely wrapped to the next line in Internet Explorer 6. I can see on the right-hand side of the screen, this is where that element should appear. However, it's not. It's currently located down below. I'm going to select that again, and we can see that that element has been highlighted. Now, Super Preview has a few features to make the comparison between elements a little bit easier to view. Up top here, I'm going to click on this Lights Out Highlighting mode, and here we can see the problem in full relief. This is the case study section, and where it's supposed to be, down here in green, is where it actually is. We can also see our measurements down below. So in this green box, I can see that the size is 348 by 277. Over on the left-hand side, I can see that the correct size is 326, so somehow we added 22 pixels. Additionally, the position of this element is far off as well. At any given time, I can go ahead and change the layout view as well. First, I'm going to go back to my box highlighting mode, and then I'll click on Horizontal Split Layout. What this will do is put my baseline browser up top and my comparison browser down below. We also have another feature called Overlay Layout. If I click on this, we're now overlaying these two sites, one on top of the other. And again, sometimes this will help you understand exactly what's going on. What we can see here is that the breaking down of this case studies box is actually 
enlarge the entire page. I'm going to go back to that split layout view just for a moment to show you one other feature. Just looking at the text here, Lucerne Publishing, let's say we wanted to measure the difference between the text in the comparison browser versus the baseline. We have guides that will allow us to do this. On the left hand side, I'll click and drag a guide and put it right at the very end of the letter G. And here we can see that in Internet Explorer 6, there's a space between that G and the guide. Now we've been looking at Super Preview in the standalone version. I'm going to go ahead and Alt Tab here and go into Expression Web. Here I have the same site open. And now we might want to fix this. So in order to do this, I'm going to go ahead and choose Styles. And I'm going to scroll down. Now the particular problem that we're running into is something called the double margin bug. And it so happens that this is a fairly well-known bug having to do with Internet Explorer 6. And the fix for this is also fairly easy. I'm going to go ahead and remove this comment down here and add this line display inline. In the design view of Expression Web, we really don't see any change, but that's because we need to go into Super Preview. So here within Expression Web, I go to File, Display in Super Preview. I'll save my changes. And now we're seeing Super Preview integrated with Expression Web. Let's go ahead and scroll to the right. And we can see that the problem has now been solved. So here you've had a chance to see how Super Preview can accurately debug websites using multiple browsers on the same system. Thank you for now. This is Jeremy Osborne presenting from AGI Training from Microsoft.